Hello, it's Dom Michelle from Boho Tarot, and today I have a little fun sort of unboxing. Well, I already opened the box because I kind of had to break the box open to get it out, but we're going to do an unwrapping video. Um, I really didn't plan on doing um, unboxing videos or really walkthroughs on my channel, but this is a deck that I've been super excited to get, so I just thought that we would open it together and, you know, kind of share in the excitement together. So it came wrapped in this pretty little paper and inside here we have the little sticker hopefully you can see that um, so that probably gives you some indication of what is inside so let's take a look so we have ta-da the dark goddess tarot oh we have a little magnet how cool is that the hag of air it's really awesome. Oh, and we have a couple of art cards. So we have the Witch of Air. Um, Justice, it looks like. Let's see if it says. Uh, collage card from the 2005 Tarot Art Calendar. So that's kind of neat. And here we have... Uh, Another deck published by Arnold's Art. Very cool. Just a couple little art cards give you a little preview of some other decks. And of course, I guess they are technically postcards, but yeah, really cute. So then we have the Dark Goddess Tarot. I find some scissors here, and I have to tell you, like, I'm really excited to open this deck. It is a deck that I have wanted for quite some time now. And I don't know. I wasn't really sure about it. I wasn't really sure about it at first, to be perfectly honest with you. It comes in this nice little box here, which doesn't have the finger holes though, so it's a little bit hard to open. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. So we have the um, little booklet here which I've seen lots of times on different channels. Um, little spread. The majors, so it just has um, the title, the goddess, a key, key phrase really, and then a little just description, which I'm sure you guys have seen this a hundred times. There is a um, expanded version, a PDF version, which you can order off the creator's website, and I do plan on getting that. And it looks like these are also also shrink wrap. All right, is there anything more exciting than opening a new tarot deck? I really don't think there is. It's like Christmas every time you open a new tarot deck. Okay, so we have a um, little title card here. You can see the backs, which kind of have this sort of fish scale look to them. I do kind of like it with the gray. I like the colors. Um, one of the things I really like about this deck is the borders. And I don't say that um, very often about many decks. And if you watch my channel for any amount of time, you'll know that I, I tend to cut my borders off most of the time. Um, but in this particular deck, I don't know, I just really like the borders. I like the gray. I think the font's really easy to read and I think it works really well with this deck. I will probably edge it, to be perfectly honest just to give a little bit more flow. But let's just take a quick flip through the cards. Um, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on it because I'm sure you guys have seen these, but I just wanted to share this experience with you. I love the simplicity of the artwork in this deck. It really conveys a lot, like I love the strength card. It conveys a lot with very simple and by simple I don't mean um you know I don't mean bad when I say simple but the the artwork is very minimal and I think that that just really speaks volumes in this deck um I'm really excited to actually get the pdf and draw um be able to di to dive deeper into these cards and in particular these goddesses because like I said goddess study is something that I am planning on working on um so I'm just gonna do a quick flip through the Ace of Fire. I do also like that these um, 
that the suits are represented by the elements. I, I really like when decks do that because that's kind of how I see them is more um, elemental and more numerologically. Eight of fire, really cool 10 of fire there. So the courts in this deck are Amazon, Siren, Witch, and Hag, which I think is really cool. And I'm excited to learn more about um, those associations, which I believe is in the PDF. So I will let you know how that turns out for sure. Very cool Ace of Water. Really like that. Beautiful Two of Water. I'm not sure what it is about this deck. I love this Five of Water. This, to me, is so powerful. It's so moving. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure what it is about this deck. I just really am drawn to it. I really like the artwork. Um, and I have to say that it's probably really not like my art style, what I tend to generally go to. I tend to be really drawn to decks that are either like a really earthy, um, you know, like a Wildwood or a Tarot of the She or um, Pagan Other Worlds, you know, that, those kind of, that kind of imagery. Um, as well as I tend to be drawn to like the totally opposite end of the spectrum. I tend to be drawn to really cosmic decks, um, you know, like the Star Tarot or the um, Cosmic Reading Cards, um, the Blue Messiah Reading Cards. Trying to think of a few more decks off the top of my head, but not that it really matters. So I tend to be drawn sort of one end of the spectrum of the other. Um, although I have actually found that as of late, I am really drawn to um, really raw, kind of hand-drawn, sketchy-looking art. This is really cool for the two of Earth. Um, so yeah. Anyway, point being, it's not generally like my art style, but it, I love it. It really speaks to me. I cannot wait to actually dive deep into this deck. Um, it might have to go um, along for the ride in February along with my tarot transformation. Because I think it is just gorgeous. I love this card too. I've seen this card many times. The Hag of Earth. She Who Watches. I think that is really awesome. Oh, and then we have another, another little art card. So there you have it. Just a quick little unboxing and walkthrough um, of the Dark Goddess Tarot, even though that's not something I was planning on doing, but I was super excited and wanted to share it with you all. I will let you all know how um, working with this deck goes, and I look forward to seeing you again soon for more Creative Tarot for an Inspired Life.